Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Morning Dew Farms. Last time, I think we had sex with the Indian man. Um, not sure what else happened. Not sure if anything else important even happened. I don't know what I should be doing right now. I can't remember. <laughs> should I be farming? How do I farm? Um, I maybe. I think I need to go buy more seeds. Yes, let's just go to the general store, buy some seeds, country store. Let's buy... how much money do we have? $30? Okay, that's not... Let's buy a mega seed mix, I think? I guess. Can we talk to him? I don't think we can talk to him. That ought to do it. Alright, now let's farm this up. We need some money. This stuff isn't growing. I don't know how long it takes to grow. Let's just go to the fields. We need to go here. I'm a little nervous about coming back here after seeing that big shadow. What the heck was it? It was too big to be a wolf. Still, I can't pass up the opportunity to get some berries to sell. I'll get picking and try to get out of here fast. Sure was creepy picking berries today. I kept fe feeling like I was being watched. Now I know why Sis stays away from these fields. Hey, buddy. Oh, God, his beautiful voice. What the heck? Please don't be scared. A monster! <laughs> Stop running oh, away. Oh, man. Oh, God, and doesn't he look so good in those Speedos? Is that a Speedo? He ran away. <laughs> Mercy, my heart! That huge shadow came out of the bushes right towards me. What the heck was it? I think we might get to see him tomorrow. Next time we go, I'm I'm not sure. Maybe we'll have a full conversation with him. Um, yeah, let's go again. Man, am I ever spooked! If I didn't need the money so bad, there's no way I'd come back here. I'm going to pick as fast as I can and get out of here. Oh lordy, what just came out of them bushes? I'm too petrified to look. Um, hi. Wah! It's a werewolf! <laughs> Aw, don't be like that. I'm not going to hurt you. Um, let's... No. God, I don't like any of these options, but I'll choose this one. Uh, it's actually vampires who suck blood. Is that right? I always get them confused. Werewolves bite you and turn you into a werewolf. <laughs> hmm, I probably shouldn't have brought up that particular factoid. We need to stop running away from the only man that could ever love us. I'm not even a werewolf! Dang it! I bet he's so gentle when he loves us in bed. I bet it'd be so gentle and sensual. I can't wait to see it. There better be a sex scene with him. There, there is, isn't there? I'm just assuming there is. What if there isn't? Oh my god, I would die if there was actually no sex scene with Nuzzler. I would actually die. I would, I'd be so angry. Okay. <laughs> um, well, we can't go back there again. Um, we can head over to JC's Ranch? Or, when do we sell sh shit at the farmer's market? I don't know. I forget what day that is. Oh, I want you to read the temperance so that I may resist the fire. This is, this is my second best boy. This must be Jace. Grant me temperance so that in this time I need I am a sore dot in the dunk. What's he doing? Howdy! Well, hello, stranger! You caught me doing my morning absolutions. <laughs> oh, well, I apologize. Should I come back later? Uh, no way! I'm done with that now. I'm too eager to help any visitor to my ranch to be able to relink to Zumra now. Uh, well, all right. My name's Cody. I just took over my granddaddy's property, Morning Dew Farms. Oh, a new neighbor! How exciting! My name is Jace, and this is Jacey's Ranch. What can I do for you, friend Cody? I heard you're the man to see if someone's looking for livestock. That's right! I'm so happy word is spread. 
I have lots of wonderful animals, and many of them are for sale. Sometimes people say I love animals more than people. Well, sometimes animals are just better company than people. <laughs> That's so true, friend Cody. <laughs> Uh, Cody, Cody, see, Cody doesn't even, he's so afraid of Nuzzler, but just like, there's something that just attracts him to Nuzzler, just talking about how, well, how sometimes animals are just better company Animals than are people. better company. <laughs> <laughs> They're soft and cuddly and never ask for you to give them all your money or cut off your genitals. C uh, Nuzzler never asks for that, so, true, base Nuzzler. Wait, what was that now? I can tell you and I think a lot alike. Not exactly a light, but he sure is a cutie. He is so cute. What kind of animals are you thinking of getting, friend Cody? I'll need to start out small with a couple of laying hands. Oh, that's a wonderful way to do things. More shit I don't have money for. People who try to get too many animals at once sometimes don't take care of them very well. It's very important to me that my animals are well taken care of. I get so preoccupied with their happiness, I sometimes don't see to my other duties very well. I just can't stand to see my baby suffer! Do you have a nice chicken coop, friend Cody? Well, not as yet. I'm still getting that all situated. That's okay, friend Cody. The chickens will be here when you're ready. A laying hen six months of age is $10. However, you can't have just one chicken, friend Cody. What are they, like potato chips? Chickens need to have a flock to be happy, so the minimum I will sell to someone without chickens is two chickens. That is $20. Alrighty, I understand. When I get everything I need, I'll come back and buy me a couple of chickens. I will be happy to sell them to a friend like you, Cody. I have really special chickens. They lay the most beautiful and delicious eggs. Because of this, each egg sells for $1 and they each lay an egg a day. Wow, that's great! Guess I'll come back then. Wonderful! I look forward to seeing you again. What if I want to sell my... Oh my god. <laughs> but what if I want to sell my eggs for more than a dollar? It's Saturday, time to go to the farmer's market. Maybe I want to jack up the prices, okay? I'm a capitalist. Wow, things sure are active here. Oh my god, if I do that again, I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> Sis was kind enough to take anything I had to sell in her wagon for me. Now I just need to find her booth. There you are, little brother! Morning, Sis. You ready to cash in on all your hard work? All I have is berries. <laughs> Hopefully I'll sell a lot. I really need the money. Oh, don't worry. My table always sells out. Really? Yes, so you better not put anything for sale that you want to keep. Remember, you still need food for next week. You know you can eat some of your crops instead of selling them. That way, you won't have to spend so much money on food. Well, that's true. I ought to remember that. Why, I could eat for two days on a bundle of fast-growing mixed crops. If you want to eat it, you need to take it out of your inventory and add it to your food pantry. Sort out what you want to keep from what you want to sell. Right. Okay. Um... I think I can sell them all. Did I just sell them? <laughs> Is that everything, little brother? Um... That'll do it. Wow, Sis was right. Everything sold out. In fact, we had to pack up early because we had nothing left to sell. There's so much demand and so little supply. I could really be successful if I had more to sell each Saturday. Or maybe... If the demand is so high and the supply is so low, we could jack up the prices like every good capitalist. I am sure glad to have that money. I need to grow as many crops as I can and pick up as many berries as I can for next week. For now, it's time for bed. I'm pooped. Oh my lord. <laughs> oh dear, we just saw his morning wood. <laughs> hey Cody! Hi sis, what brings you over? I'm here to introduce you to someone. More eligible bachelors? This is Michael. Oh. Why does he... Why does he not... Why does he not fit in with the rest of them? Why does he look like someone else 
Or not even like 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 he's a like someone did not take as long to to to, to draw him as everyone else. <laughs> oh, Michael. Good afternoon. Well, hello there, Michael. Uh, sis, you trying to set me up with this fella? No. Oh. You know how I use my spare bedrooms as a bed and breakfast? No. Well, now you do. Michael is staying with me for a few days. He was in my kitchen cooking the most delicious food. He made way too much, though. He asked if I knew anyone who'd like some of it, and knowing what a glutton you are, I brought him right over. Really? You mean he's gonna give me a treat? Wow, what is it? It's my favorite recipe. Elvis fried peanut butter and banana sandwiches. Really? Just like what Elvis Costello used to eat? Um... Gimme, gimme, gimme! Here you go. You received a treat from Michael. Eat it like a pig right away. Look, we got an achievement. Um... Yeah, just eat it now. We gotta Yum. show them how good we are at, at deep throating some of this food. Maybe it'll be interesting. Cody! Mmm, that was delicious. I'm so full. I bet I can do a whole nother task today. I'm glad you liked it. Right. We'll be going now. And wipe your face. Okay. Um. Oh, one day of food? We need to, like, we need to do something about this. I don't, I forget how long it takes to grow. Is it like a week? I, I, I don't know. Let's just go buy some food. I don't know what else to do. Oh my god, all our money. Request electricity? We'll never have electricity. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's buy some... Oh wait, okay, it tells you how long it takes to grow here. Um... Okay, so... That stuff won't grow for 12 days? Oh god, what have I done? What have I done to myself? Okay, like, let's just buy the super seed mix and get out of here. I, I, I promise I'm not gonna fail this... These mini-games, guys. That's not what I meant to do. <laughs> this won't be another repeat of Seiyudanshi, I promise you that. I promise that. Alright, um, I guess we can go back to the berry field. Oh, hi. D dang it! Look, you, I just need to pick me some berries. You keep your distance. <sighs> I don't understand why you're afraid of me. C c cause you're a devil, or a werewolf, or a freak of nature. You don't have to be so insulting, you know. No, oh, we're making him sad. I may look tough. But I've got feelings, just like everyone else. He sounds like such a sweet, gentle boy. That, uh, that's so? And if it wasn't for me, your berry field would be overrun with mice. You, you eat raw mice? Of course not. I make a bechamel with wild garlic and leek and serve it over roasted cattail stalk. Well, that sounds pretty fancy, actually. <laughs> of course I eat raw mice. I'm a wolf, aren't I? Why would that even scare you? <laughs> Why would him say he eats raw mice scare I you? I guess I started joking with him a little too soon in our relationship. <sighs> He's already thinking about our future together. I better get back to work on that Espanol if I want to have beef bourguignon tonight. I mean mouse bourguignon. Okay, um... Now... We haven't been in the bathhouse in a while, have we? Can we go there? Can, can, can we go here today? I, probably not. It's Monday. Dang it, nothing going on here. Oh my god, <laughs> did I waste... Did I waste my day? Uh, why did it tell me something like... It's, it, the bathhouse isn't available today. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have wasted half the day trekking here. <laughs> we were just... We, we went on this long journey for some dick, but we got here and we're like, oh, there's no dick today. <laughs> what a waste of time. This place only open on Wednesdays, after all. Oh, but look, at least we get we get to talk to 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 Jace, maybe. <laughs> What's this? Hello there. <laughs> well, dang, I didn't mean to frighten him. 
Dang. <laughs> that was that was bad. Hey, Cody! I'm already failing these mini games. Hi, sis. What's up? I've got another renter I want to introduce you to. This one's staying for a month. This is Tita. Tita, <laughs> this is my little brother Cody. <laughs> Holy moly, what a sexy Twinkie Pie. Is he is he Twinkie? I don't I don't I don't think he looks like a twink at all. Hi. Pleased to meet you. Hey. So I was fishing at the pond. You were Man, I wish I could fish there. Are these people are these like people's original characters maybe that um that kickstarted the game? I think maybe probably. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I found this fishing pole in the water. I already have one, and Sissy didn't want it. I told him to give it to you, Cody. Holy crap, are you kidding me right now? Uh, mm, I guess you could really use it, huh? Heck yeah, I can use it. I'm gonna catch me a whole buttload of fish. That's good. Here you go. Cody received a fishing pole and can now fish at the Man, fishing I could... Hole. I could just hug you. That's... that's not necessary. I think we'll be going now. Why does Sis keep bringing all these strangers over to my ranch? No, wait. I'm seriously grateful. I don't have much money, barely even enough for food. You done me a huge favor. How can I pay you back? That's not necessary. Like I said, I just found it in the water. But why did she come to bring it to me? Like, why did he come over here to bring it to me? I'm happy that someone will get some use out of it. I guess because I'm the main character. Well, thank you. Thank you a whole bunch. You're welcome, Cody. <laughs> what strange encounters. <laughs> it's Tuesday, right? No, it's still Monday. The day hasn't changed. <laughs> okay, let's go back to the berry field. We're getting with Nuzzler. Hi, what? You're actually going to talk to me instead of running away? Well, this is the fifth time I've come out here. You've had plenty of chance to kill me, if that's what you're about. Ugh. I can't believe that's what you think about me. I'm trying to be more open-minded. You gotta admit, you're something out of the ordinary. It's not like I can help that. My name's Cody, by the way. I'm Nuzzler. I'm gonna get picking if that's all the same to you, Nuzzler. Sure, I'll help. Just... Just what are you? Well, my father was a man, and my mother was a wolf. He... Okay. That can't be possible. That's kinda hot. I'm proof that it is. So, you're a for real half-man, half-wolf. Not no demon or nothing? Who do you who do you think came onto the onto the other one first? The human man or the female wolf? <laughs> oh I wish you'd stop thinking that. Those kinds of attitudes are what's made me have to live in an isolated field all by myself. If I didn't have my cookbooks, I'd probably go insane. What about your daddy? Why don't you live with him? Well, at some point I have to make it out on my own. Find... find someone to have something meaningful with. Do you know how hard it was to finally show myself to you? You seem nice, so I took a chance. I wasn't all that nice to you, though. I understand. You were scared. You're not scared anymore, are you? Not only am I not scared, I think I want to get to know you better. That's great! Well, I'm done picking. Me too. Here's what I picked for you. Thanks. I I guess I'll see you around. This is my home. I'll always be here. Okay. Then I'll see you next time I come picking. How do we get him to live in our house? Uh, Cody? Yes? There's a lot of people who'd like to get their hands on someone like me. Like who? You won't tell anyone I'm out here, will you? Who? Who in Morning do? Who in this town would want to get their hands on you? <laughs> Don't worry. Man, what a wild ride. I went from sheer terror to making a new friend. Becoming enamored with a wolf man. Woo. We're just gonna 
human beings are just gonna keep having sex with these wolf creatures until eventually we'll just like get all the wolf blood out of there and they'll just be normal humans again. <laughs> um, okay. Enough bestiality. Wait, is it still Monday? How's it still Monday? Didn't, haven't we done two things today? Didn't I waste time going to the bathhouse and go to berry picking? It, it's fine, I won't complain. Um, okay, let's go to JC's again. The sinner shall be washed away in a flood that will cleanse the world of this one. Hmm, wonder if I'm interrupting his absolutins again. Maybe I ought to come back later. Oh, come on. Oh, hello there, friend Cody. Well, howdy, Jace. I'm so happy to see you again. Are you here for business, or is this a social call? Why don't we socialize for a spell? Wonderful! I was hoping you would say that. I've thought about our last conversation, and I realize I wasn't doing the thing I'm supposed to do. What's that now? Well, I'm trying to be better, but I'm not as good as I should be. This gets me into a lot of trouble. It's like how I spend so much time caring for my animals. I know I'm not supposed to be selfish. There are other, more important things I'm supposed to be doing. More important than tending your livestock? Yes, friend Cody. The livestock, you, me, everything in fact. Isn't that important in the grand scheme of things? Sometimes I forget this. Huh. But now that you're back, I can fix my mistake. I can do what I was supposed to do when we first met. Is that okay, friend Cody? It's really important to my... Uh, I mean... To me. I'm not really following, Jace, but go on, do what you want. Oh, thank you! I'll do my best to get this right. Friend Cody, what I needed to do is tell you some things. Some very, very important things. Since we are friends now, I would feel terrible if I didn't try to save you, Cody. Er, uh, what are you talking about? Are you aware that the Earth is actually a goddess named Zumra? What? It makes a lot of sense, friend Cody. Earth is the only planet in the solar system with life on it. That's because Zumra is alive and brought life to everything on top of her. You can see Zumra in the leaves, the trees, and in the eyes of all the animals. Animals have the spirit and spark of Zumra. They please her, and that's why they're so happy and lively. Um, I ain't all that big on religion, to be honest. But there is one animal Zumra is not pleased with. That animal is man, Cody. Is that right? Yes. Man has desecrated Zumra. He has taken space away from her animals and caused many of them to die. Man is impure and hurting Zumra with bad thoughts that animals never have. Like thinking about going to the bathhouse. Why, you should try going to the bathhouse. I tried to go there yesterday. I saw you and thought we could have a quickie behind, behind, the, behind the bathhouse. I mean, I try not to think about it, but every Wednesday, I get tempted. And on Mondays, apparently. <laughs> In fact, that was just earlier today. <laughs> that wasn't even a different day, that was today. Hey now, ain't nothing wrong with But it angers Zumra, so it's terrible of me. I'm a bad, terrible person. I don't think that's true. Oh, but it is. All the brothers and sisters tell me how terrible I am. They wouldn't lie to me. Brothers and sisters, huh? They sound lousy. We must all be better to please Zumra, or she's going back to her mother. Do you know who her mother is, Cody? The sun! If she returns to her mother, we will all burn into oblivion, friend Cody! And the reckoning is nigh! There's only a little time left to fix things. Will you help make things right, friend Cody? Who told you all this stuff? These brothers and sisters? The servants of Zumra. We read from her sacred texts and meet 12 hours a day to praise her. Um... And all the money the ranch makes must go to the servants of Zumra fund. Or we won't be saved from oblivion. You give all your money to this, uh, group? Yes. Sometimes it gets hard because I don't have money for food. 
I have so much debt. And the bank says they might take the ranch away. But it doesn't matter. All that matters is making sure Zumra doesn't destroy us. And since I haven't made the sacrifice of purity, the least I can do is fund our noble cause. Pleasing Zumra is all that matters. So, I give all my money and time to the servants of Zumra and try to recruit others. And these servants are the ones saying you're a bad person. Yes. They say I'm wicked, selfish, and that I anger Zumra. I must try harder to be pure. Or else what? Or else I must make the sacrifice. And I know it's selfish, but I don't want to do that. Will you help us save the world, Cody? We need your help before it's too late. Dang, he's so deep. I'm sure he won't listen to reason. Um, what a shame for a sweet, handsome guy to get roped into that hooey. Oh my god, no. We can't keep our distance. Ugh. All right, Jace. I'll... I'll think about it. You will? Oh, thank you, friend Cody! Please come back soon to talk further, because we don't have much time left. Um, okay. Goodbye, Jace. Goodbye, friend Cody! Ugh, poor brainwashed sucker. We did like four things that day, I feel like. <laughs> we just kept doing stuff. Okay, um, back to the berry field. Let me help you pick some berries. Every day we gotta come to the berry field. <laughs> well, thanks, Nuzzler. Oh, I wanted to talk to him more. Oh, God. It's, wait, is it Wednesday? No, it's still Tuesday. God, it's never Wednesday. <laughs> it's never Wednesday. There's no reason to go to the farmer's market, is there? Not, it'll automatically take me there on Sundays. There's no reason to go before then, right? Right? I think. Wow, this place sure is fancy. Hello, Cody. It's nice to see you again. Yeah, after I gave you a good fucking last time. How's that ass been? <laughs> yep, you too. I can't help but think about how I pounded this guy the other day. Thank you for coming. You must forgive me for my outburst the other day. What, you mean when you were screaming when I had my dick straight up your ass? You mean the moaning? N no I mean when I broke into tears at your farm. No, oh, that. I'd planned to buy the place for a long time. It was a shock to realize I could never own it. Still, I should not have become so emotional. There are other avenues to achieve my dream. Sure there are. I've decided I would really like to work with you, Cody. Hot dang, look at that blush. Of course, we could work together. You want me to grow your grapes for you, right? Yes, I have particular strains that should be perfect for your terroir. I'll bring you the vines, and you can propagate them for me. Uh, you mean grow them for you, right? Yes, I would ask that a significant portion of your land be used for the grapes. But I will show you my business proposal. It will be very profitable for you. That sounds mighty fine. I reckon we're in business together then, huh, Sanjay? Yes, I suppose we are. This is extremely important to me. To my winery, I might have to oversee some things. Do... do you mind if I come to the farm occasionally to check on the vines? Just to check on the vines? Oh, you're gonna come calling on me? Uh, well, I... it's just for the grapes, I mean, that is... Don't get all flustered, I'm just teasing. Ah, good. I understand if you want to keep things strictly business, that's fine with me. We can just save our lovemaking for Wednesdays. <laughs> Every Wednesday. Oh, and if... What's that? Nothing. Don't pay any attention to me. What if I want to? Sometimes I say things without thinking. I... I mean, I hardly know you. That's true. But I reckon we'll get to know each other now that we're in business together. Yes, that's very true. Wednesday, guys. Ooh, yeah. Bathhouse is open. I'll start heading up there. Oh, dear. Woo, they're already just flaunting it. <laughs> 
They're just flaunting it. They're they're both erect and flaunting. This is mm. <laughs> okay. Who are we gonna signal? Um, maybe. How about just Rusty? What? The, the, I, not no daddies today, right? But um, that's <laughs> right. Nah. Get back here. This is right where I'll end um, today's video, guys. So thank you for watching, and next time when you when you guys when you guys come back with me, we'll be we'll be getting down with Rusty. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you next time.